to install the AEC work structure onto a network location so that you can share your data, there's a few additional steps to take care of. Uh, first thing you'll want to do is find a location on your uh, network to install it. So I'm going to create a new folder somewhere and I'm going to call this TS underscore workspaces just because that is where we have previously installed these items. Then I'm going to go into that folder and unzip the AEC work structure there. So I'm going to grab it and unzip it. Once I have the file unzipped, then I'm going to go into AEC organization, find the configuration setup.cfg.txt, and I'm going to add a line in here, AEC configuration. What I need to do is find the location that I put this. So here it is on my network, and it's the location of the AEC WS folder. I'm going to add this to the end of AEC configuration. And I'm going to change my back forward slashes to backslashes, and I'm going to add another one to the end and uncomment that line. Once I've done this, I'm going to save this and close it, and I'm going to make a copy of this, control C. Then I'm going to go back to my C program data, and if I go to view hidden items, program data, and I'm going to go find my Bentley software, and if I go into MicroStation Connect Edition, Configuration, and I'm going to go control V in here and do the same thing that I did before. So I'm going to rename my configuration setup.cfg to old2 because old was my original one. And then I'm going to remove the .txt from the configuration setup cfg.txt. Once I've done that, now I've got it configured properly, so the next step is to go to my network location and start uh, setting up my workspaces.